Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today I am gonna show you our current beta fish. I'm also gonna show you the beta fish that we're planning on keeping from our recent spawn. And I will also give you a sneak peek of a beta fish that we've got coming to us soon, who we are hoping to add to our breeding program. Today's video is sponsored by Amino Apps. This is an app that brings communities together from all around the world that have similar interests. So if you are into fish, dogs, cats, reptiles, all different types of things and so much more than that, the app is very well put together and it has a beta fish community on there. We have been using the app over the last few weeks and there is so much that you can do with it. You can hang out in chat, you can ask questions, you can answer questions, you can do polls, you can post pictures of your beta fish and talk with like-minded people. It's a great place where you can go and ask your questions. You can also help people out if you have experience by answering those questions. I do really like the chat feature. I've been hanging out in chat and it's just great to talk with some of you guys. So go ahead and check the app out. I will leave all the information to it in the description box below. Also, let me know in the comments box below if you already use the app. Maybe leave your username so other people can find you. I will leave my username in the description box below also so you can go ahead and follow me. Let's go take a look at our current beta fish. So first up is our Koi female mini and she is actually a galaxy Koi because she does have the blue. So she's yellow or black and you'll see the blue sort of just iridescence there. There you go, you can just see it. She has two different color eyes and mini is about two years old now. She came to us as a baby beta labeled a male but she actually turned out to be female. So she lives in this five gallon tank and this is actually our snail breeding tank. So she lives with a lot of snails and thankfully she doesn't bother with them at all. She is quite a greedy fish, but thankfully with the snails in the tank, when I drop the food in for the snails, she goes for the food, but once the snails are all over it, she just cannot get a look in. So that's really good that she can't really overeat just simply because the snails get to the food first. So in this tank, it is a 20 gallon long, and this was the grow out for the guppies and the beta fish fry. As you can see, the beta fish are large now. They're about five months old. And these are, this one here is one that we're keeping. And we're also gonna keep this one here. We probably will be using them in our breeding program. Most likely this one here, uh, as this one obviously is a lot bigger. This one here is one of the other spawns. This one here has the metallic traits going through it and will be going up for sale very, very soon. So these are the other babies that are in the grow out jars. This one here is a red and blue metallic. And then next to that one, we have the cellophane. This one did have the black in its tail, but it is gone. And it does now have sort of like a yellow sheen coming in. So I don't know whether it's going to go yellow or change again, but that's the beauty of the koi or marble betas because they can keep changing over time. This next one here is one of the large ones and it, this one is more red. It doesn't really have the metallic in it. Unfortunately, it's quite difficult to see. Let me see if I can move the light to whether that's any better. There you go, that's a better shot. And next to that one, we have another cellophane. And this one here, they've not long eaten, so they have got quite big stomachs right now. And then in the divided tank, we also have this large, female this one is a lot more black it does have the blue in it as well but the body is a very deep deep color the one next to it is a koi female right now it has yellow yellow orange and black on it just sort of splodges all over it at this point so this one is in the process of going through color change the next one is a very very orangey red this one's absolutely gorgeous it does have the blue in as well and then next to that one we have this one here and again this one actually is very metallic i don't know if i can get it to turn on its side or whether if I bring the lighting forward maybe you see it a little bit better so this one here is very very blue metallic 
and it's got the red in it as well so in our divided tank we have bandit who is actually the dad of the babies he is a koi placot as well and he does have a little blue so he probably would be classed as the galaxy but it's a very very small amount of blue he is mainly red and black but he does have just a little bit of blue in his tail which doesn't really show very often so i can't really show you that and then on this side we have theo and again he was a koi he has just gone completely black bodied and red fins this tank is actually going to be getting a makeover very soon so we're really excited about that so make sure you stay tuned for that these guys are waiting to be fed they get so impatient with me when uh, i'm doing this and then they, they realize that oh she's got the camera so no food is coming so let's call their bluff here and i will put some food in all right i couldn't do the food one-handed so i had to just put the camera down for a minute all right i need to move the frog bit out the way to put some of the pellets in the pellets we mainly use for the beta fish are the fluval bug bites small tropical and also the new life spectrum beta pellet as well so what we do is i do sort of just a mixture of the two and i just have it in a little container of the two lots mixed and that is what we actually feed them and all the beta fish absolutely love them this is actually what the container looks like and then like you said you can see i just have a mixture of the two different types so that is all our current beta fish like i said we do have a new female on the way to us and we are actually planning on getting a few more as well over the next few months so we do have a lot of exciting things coming i will put a picture in here of the female that's coming that we're hoping to add to the breeding program it is an import and it was a very very kind gift from amber at big city baiters so very very thankful for that and so excited to add her to the breeding program Alright guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to check out the Amino app and we'll see you next time.